What's up, you crazy son of a bitch? It's Hat, it's Tuesday, to you. Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into today's video, let me get a cup of coffee. Not that I need it already, some white shit. <sighs> coffee. Put it in the cup. That makes YouTube mad also. Why? Because we're talking about more stuff that makes YouTube mad. What exactly? More knives, ladies and gentlemen. More knives. Now, we went over my everyday, you know, get a cardboard box down, cut off some strands on the shirt, whatever, whatever. Yesterday, my Buck 110, I love that knife. It stood by me for a long time. But today, we talk about oh, my defensive knife of choice. This is my SOG seal pup that my best friend got me as a uh, Christmas present last year. So I haven't been carrying it for super long. Now this is a defensive knife. As I stated in the video that I made on it when I first got it. But just in case if you didn't know, dual serrated knife, it's sharp across the top of it, and it's real sharp on the bottom. This knife is specifically made for defensive purposes, okay? Doesn't have as much to wear on it as my buck does, but that's only because I've been carrying that buck since I was 18, like I said in yesterday's video. I've only been carrying it for a year and 10 months, about. Yeah, so. And thankfully, even though I do train with this knife just as far as like how I grip it for my personal um, situations, thankfully this knife has not had to come out very much. Well, actually it hasn't had to come out at all except for training, so that's very really nice. But the one thing I will show you guys that I forgot to show you in the last video that I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of questions on is how I actually carry the snack. So let me slip it back in the sheath real quick. And what I'll do is not actually put it on, I'll show you how it rides, so I'll back up a little bit and kind of adjust the camera here. So, because I am wet handed. I want, well, let me move my camera so y'all can see this a little bit better. So because I am left handed, I obviously want my defensive knife to be in a spot where I can grab it with my dominant hand. So the way that I set this up, and I know some people might yell at me for this. The way I 
like to set the, something I do carry instead of the uh, typical, um, you know, standard draw that you usually have. I prefer to carry this crop straw like this. Right, I think crop straw might be the proper term. I'm not sure. But I like to carry it riding like this so that way if a situation does arise, all I have to do is reach across stand um pull it out. Speaking of which I wanna talk about something else. A problem that a lot of people have with Sog knives is uh well, let me get your angle right back here. A lot of a, a big problem that people have with sog knives is the uh, all the velcro um retention that they use. Like here, I still have my butt that for me from yeah. Today, so I'll show you guys a little bit of a difference. Nice thick metal snap on the sheath. You know, everybody loves these good, thick, sturdy snap, all that. Big problem that a lot of people have with saw knives. Is this. A lot of people feel like. You want to slap me that, everybody? A lot of people feel like. And I'll have my assistant here hold this so I can show the talk a lot better. A lot of people are scared of this little thing right here. Why? I don't know. Probably because it's Velcro and not what the inner word people are going to be able to do that to you real easy. Well, this is all I have to say about that. If the Navy SEALs trust their lives to these things, Pretty sure I can. So, I haven't had a problem with this, which I'm very happy about. And hopefully, I never have to use this for what it's intended for. But, if I do, I know I can trust it. But that's all the poke, poke, stab, stabs that I carry on me, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. And uh, we'll see you Wednesday for more of whatever this is.